behavior management. The study of how managers should behave to motivate employees and encourage them to perform at high levels and be committed to the achievement of organizational goals. Come on guys, hurry up, we got a lot of stuff to do, let's go! You need to be talking nicely with them and encouraging them, not yelling at them. Nice job guys! Keep up the good work, yeah! I'd like to welcome you all to the Management Conference. My name is Mary Parker Follett and I will be talking about behavioral management today. Behavioral management basically entails you managers, your behavior affects your employees. And what I mean by this is your behavior affects their motivation level, it affects their productivity level, and it affects their commitment to this company. And so what you need to do is involve your employees. If you can involve them in any way possible, try to do that. And what I mean by that, for example, is if you're trying to increase your productivity, you need to ask them for ways in which you can improve it. The reason for this is that they are doing this job day in and day out, and they are the most knowledgeable about the job. And what I always like to say is authority should go with knowledge, whether it's up the line or down the line. Theory X, a set of negative assumptions about workers that lead to the conclusion that a manager's task is to supervise workers closely and control their behavior. You're lazy, <laughs> worthless, you never want to work, you want to sit around and drink beer all day. A set of positive assumptions about workers that lead to the conclusion that a manager's task is to create a work setting that encourages commitment to organizational goals and provides opportunities for workers to be imaginative and to exercise initiative and self-direction. Oh, you all are doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. You work so hard. I trust you all. You stud muffin, you. Management Science Theory, a contemporary approach to management that focuses on the rigorous quantitative techniques to help managers make maximum use of organizational resources to produce goods and services. According to my calculations, you should have this much inventory this year. Two plus one plus three equals seven. And your new store name should be called Sprinkle Winkle. From now on, every time you work on something, we will know. We have established hidden technology to watch your every move. I am watching you. I am sick and tired of finding effective products. There are things in our products that should not be there. You need to be careful. Okay team, we need to figure out a way to get our information about our amazing events out to the public. Anybody have any ideas? Facebook it. Facebook, what's that? Facebook is like all the college kids, they can stay and network with each other and they can post events and everybody will know about it. Uh, okay, let's do that. 